Calendly schedule appointment tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Calendly and how you can use it to schedule appointments. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I am on the website Calendly.com and in order to go ahead and sign up, you can just simply sign up with the Google account. Just simply click on it and you are good to go. It will sync your Google Calendar and all its events with Calendly. And if you go ahead with Microsoft, it will do the exact same thing. And if you go ahead and sign up with the email, you can then connect any uh, calendar that you have with Calendly. So over here, Let's go ahead and sign up and I'm going to sign in with my Google account and we're going to sign in with our Google account. And when you first sign in, this is how it will look like. So over here, uh, as you can see, it says it could not connect with your email. So just simply go ahead and click on reconnect to connect your account. And down below you have a status bar. If you click on it, you can see you can connect your calendar, connect your video conference and then set up your meeting location, set up your availability preview and share and you are good to go so let's go ahead and connect our google calendar so we just simply click on the button and then log in into our account and continue and we should be good to go and there we go as you can see our google calendar is now successfully connected if you want to connect more accounts or more calendars just simply click on this plus icon and you are good to go now down below is the configuration uh, so you can set the calendars to check conflicts to prevent them but I think it's good to go. Now, if we come back and go to home, you can see right here that I have these two tasks or these two meetings or these upcoming events over here. So let me just go ahead and delete them and you can create new events. So to create a new event, just simply click on this button right here and it'll open up this uh, section here where you choose what type of event you want to create, whether a one on one session uh, or a group session, a collective or round robin. So it hosts uh, one rotating host with an invitee. So you can go ahead and do with that uh, a one off meeting or meeting poll. You know, it depends on you. So let's say it's a one on one session. We're going to click on one on one. Now over here is going to be the event name, the duration, the location, and this is the slide preview that we have. So over here, let's say this is a consultation meeting right here and down below is the duration. So you can go with different durations like 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 45 minutes. So let's say it's a one hour consultation and down here is going to be the location. So you can go ahead and select whether you want a Zoom call, a phone call or an in-person meeting. And if you click on all options, you get more options like a custom invite or Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, WebEx or GoToMeeting. It depends on you. So let's say it is a in-person meeting and for in-person meeting you have to add the address so let's say it's in you can add like an address meet john at the cafe and just simply click on update and now you have the location and the address as well and then you can just simply click on continue and now you have an event now uh, you have to go ahead and you know book it so this is the booking page right here you can see uh, we have the consultation meeting. Now we just select the date. Uh, let's say it's on the 15th at 4 p.m. So we click on 4 p.m., select the time, and then just hit the done button, and you should be good to go. So there you go. Now, over here down below, you have scheduled events right here on the left hand side. If you click on scheduled events, you will find all the upcoming events right here. So if you don't have an event coming, you will find them right here. So if you click on view events, you will find them over here and all the upcoming events are going to be over here. Then down below, you have your contacts over here. You can create new contacts and you just simply click on create new contact, add their name and email. And for this one, I'm going to be using a temporary email and we'll just paste the email right here. We'll call him John Doe and the time zone you can select whatever time zone you want and then you can add the phone number if you have it and then just simply hit the save button and there you go contact created and now you can go ahead and book a meeting right here so select the consultation meeting click on next and now we have the contacts right here this is the host this is john the whole world meeting and now we can just select the time and we are good to go and now we just simply click on book meeting boom 
there you go so event is now book so now if we go into scheduled events you can see your event that you have now scheduled and then down below you have your workflow as well so here in workflow uh, of course this is available for the uh, you know upgraded version and if you're wondering what is the price you click on upgrade plan uh, we can see there are three plans the standard and the teams and the enterprise right so in the standard it's going to cost you ten dollars per seat per month then we have teams which is going to be sixteen dollars per seat per month and then we have enterprise which is going to start at fifteen thousand per year so keep that in mind and then down below you can go ahead and compare features by a different category so right here uh in the free version you get meeting polls you have one-on-one -on -one, only one meeting you don't have any group events you don't have any collective uh, event types no round robin types you get email notifications but you don't get notifications for reminders and follow-ups you have you contact profiles and scheduling but not a whole lot Whereas in the standard one, you get everything except for round robin type. And you can't create forms and route invitees based on the answers. You can't uh, route invitees with third party forms like Marketo or HubSpot or route invitees with Salesforce as well. You can only do all of that in the final version. But yeah, you don't have a lot of customization options as well like you you get custom branding on all of them but you can't remove the calendly branding you don't get the custom cancellation policy message you don't get custom colors when you embed calendly but you get all of that in the paid version in the standard version as well you don't get any analytics or insights in the free version you do get them on the standard but in the standard you don't get anything else no enforced branding no organized team members into groups uh, you can't create sync and look manage events you can only do that in the teams version so keep that in mind you don't get any integrations as well not a whole lot you get to connect with zoom google meet microsoft teams and other web conferencing tools but you can't connect to multiple calendars you can't create custom web hooks and all of that so i would say you know what the free version is okay if you want to test it out but if you really want to you know get the whole lot you would need to go with the standard version so Having said that, that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever, then let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to help you out in any way I can as soon as possible. And also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily, so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day, so don't worry about it. So having said that, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, and until next time, take care and goodbye.